What's up YouTube? Man, am I excited about today's vlog. I am going to be showing you guys a lot of snakes. So if you guys don't want to see over 50 snakes, I would suggest you stop watching. Actually, no, keep watching. But guys, before we get to that vlog, as always, make sure you guys go check out Superior Shipping Supplies and make sure you guys go check out Campfire Arts to win yourself one of those amazing custom Medusa swords. So let's get started with this vlog and let's say hi to some of our pets. Let's say what's up to our beautiful little beaded lizard, our Mexican beaded lizard. Venom, just taking a nice little bath. I'm gonna let him sleep in there. Let's also say hi to our little lychee. Let's take him out so we get a better view of him. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's get the light. You need to really show off his beauty. There we go. Oh my gosh, this guy is amazing. Also, let's check out this beautiful Inchi Leopard Lavender. What I call the Starburst Snake. One of my favorite combos, man. And this beauty right here came from Justin Kabelka. Look at this thing, man. The colors are unreal. And another beauty right here. We have a Calico Mandarin Hypo. Oh, man. This sunlight's really picking up its colors. This thing is beautiful, man. I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait to make some more Mandarin Hypo combos. I have some really cool stuff pairing up right now that I'll show you guys in a few. But man, you gotta love this orange. Also, man, check this out. We are down to two more clutches. We have our Blade Clown bred to our Hypo Black Pastel Clown, and she has seven eggs. Then next, we have an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Hep Pied Possible Head Clown bred to our Leopard Clown Pied and she has five eggs in there which is our last two clutches of last season so pretty stoked about this we need to start getting this thing completely filled up oh and here's another cool thing real quick let me show this off I actually got this from my buddy Corey Wilson aka Mr. Wilson I believe he got this from where did he get this from Dang it, Corey, don't hate me. Hold on, let me pause it real quick. All right, I'm gonna take a guess. I think he got this from the Philippines, I believe. All right, there we go. But this is a cobra, a real cobra, holding on to a scorpion. And I believe this is some kind of a uh, whiskey or something. I'm not gonna try. He said it wasn't too good. But as far as display, this thing is freaking awesome. Big shout out to Corey. Really appreciate it, brother. All right, Patchy, ready to show off some more skills? Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. There we go. All right. Dang, that was. Man, this guy's athletic. So let's get ready to show off all these amazing snakes. So real quick, man, I showed you guys last time waiting for two females to lay. Man, I something happened today that I'm not sure. It's kind of the first time ever this has happened to me. I've had it happen to me before with uh, two actual real good eggs that were fertile, but this is the first time that I've had someone completely throw out a slug first. I'm kind of a little worried because it's a crazy pairing. So let me show you guys real quick. All right, so right here we have the pastel cypress. And as you guys can see, the little slug is right there. I'm hoping that was, she was just completely, you know, I released a little pressure off, but man, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm hoping she has some good eggs in there. This is an insane pairing for me right here. And I really need to hit a Cypress Head Sunset. That'd be really, really cool. So yeah, guys, wish me luck. I'll keep you guys updated on this girl. And this girl too, man. She should be laying any day now as well. I wonder if it's going to have a bigger clutch. They're both really big girls, over 3,000 grams. This one's actually 4,300 grams. But yeah, that's a big girl right here. Pastel Clown, bred to a Black Pastel Hypo Clown. You guys remember this awesome male, right? A Blackhead Leopard, 100% Hep Pied. This guy just got picked up by CMM Constrictors. Man, dude, this guy is going to do some work for you, Chris. I'm so happy you grabbed this guy, man. He definitely, definitely made some beautiful babies over here at AEP. Yesterday was feeding day, so these things might be a little full, but these are two of the holdbacks that I'm keeping from him. Right here, we have a blackhead pied. Jesse says that the thing right there looks like the Jason mask, which I do kind of see that. I see what you're talking about, Big Doug. But yeah, this is one of the holdbacks right here. Sorry for disrupting you. And also we have here is another blackhead. Blackhead pied possible head lavender. Hoping she proves out lavender, man. That would be awesome. 
But yeah, beautiful, beautiful blackheads. So many babies all up in here, man. Look at this. It's so crazy. I don't even know where to start, but you guys want to see something really cool that I haven't actually, you know what? No, I'll make this for a separate vlog. But check out these uh, Firefly Mandarin, Fire Mandarin, Inchi Mandarin. Dude, this Mandarin gene, I'm telling you guys, is going to be the next level on st on morphs, man. On combos, whatever you want to call it. But I'll give you guys a quick glimpse of this uh, Inchi Mandarin. And I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of inches before. But man, look at this. Look at how orange this thing is, man. Yeah, but this thing is amazing, man. I'm really, really digging this Mandarin stuff. This season, I'm hoping to hit some Mandarin Clowns and some Mandarin Pies, obviously with other combos, but I mean, that's all up to the other gods. But man, I'm telling you guys, this Mandarin stuff, I'll make a completely different vlog on it, but I've held back a lot of Mandarin stuff and haven't showed off a lot of cool things, but you guys are gonna have to tune in until the next couple vlogs and check that out. Let's check out some Pied stuff. Right here, we have another holdback. And right here we have a yellow belly GHI pied male. Beautiful snake. Then we have his sister. Right here we have an inchy GHI pied. And these things came out really good, man. I got super lucky with those four eggs. Ah, oh, here's something that I haven't showed you guys, man. This is really, really cool. Let me see, is it this one? It's the one up here. Okay. Come here, little girl. All right, right here we have a spot nose, yellow belly, or gravel, 100% head clown. I am so hoping she proves out gravel. But yeah, she has such a nice little orange color to her. And she is a female. And it's not a head wobbles as my hands are a little shaky. I had a lot of uh, a lot of coffee today. And of course, right here is me hoarding all my sunset stuff. And now right here we have our inchy double hat sunset uh, desert ghost. One, two, three, four. Well, you guys know we have a lot of them. And I have some pastel spot nose leopard, which is pretty much a Batman um, double hat sunset clowns. And we have some other cool sunset double hat stuff here. So, alright guys, I'm going to show you guys some awesome Gene X stuff, and before I get to this, so you guys know I've been doing a lot of collabs with a lot of influencers, and just getting a lot of people, you know, into this industry, trying to reach out. I know a lot of people say, oh man, you're cloud chasing, doing all this stuff, but I've noticed the more people I've been reaching out with a lot of these influencers and celebrities and stuff, it has been so good for the reptile industry. So, recently I went to Summer Ray's place, and you guys know who Summer Ray is, if, she's, if you guys don't know, here's a couple of little videos and pictures of her. Look who's at the facility doing some shopping. Hi. Oh my gosh, man. My baby. That's insane. So you have some two GNX right there and one skillless. Are you yeah. taking all three of them? Yeah, she's so cool, man. Such a humble, awesome girl, man. And she has a lot of pets. She's already had a couple of stuff before I even met her. But she's picked up a few snakes from us. And then she actually came over here to the house and literally did a little shopping. Actually, not a little shopping, but a huge, huge, huge amount of shopping over here at AEP. And she picked out some amazing, amazing stuff. I kind of want to show you guys a couple of things, but I also want to kind of keep it a surprise because her rack is coming in next week. And then we're going to go over there and hook it up for her. And then, boom, man, we're going to... Throw a lot of little babies in there. But yeah, she's definitely getting a rack system. Not like this, more like that. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, so let's go show out these uh, G-neck stuff. All right, so right here is my little female holdback. And right here we have a banger, man. Come on, girl, widen up. Let's see. Man, come on. All right, here we go. So right here we have an orange dream, yellow belly, inchy, g -nex. Pied female. Let's put you down right there. Look how orange they are. And next we have the same thing, but this is a male. This little guy just got picked up last week, man. And I remember, man, when I bought his dad, it was just like this size, man. And he's still doing some work over here. But again, orange dream, yellow belly, inchy genex. 
This is the male. And then we have two Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied Females. Here's one of them. And here's the other one. Again, an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied Female. And now that we're over here talking about pied stuff, man, let me show you some of my holdback Mojave stuff. Again, we don't really know the combos on this one, but we are thinking it's Orange Dream Yellow Belly uh, Gene X, possible Inchi. I mean, I don't know. This combo has never been made, so it's kind of hard to tell. Here's another Mojave combo. Again, this one we're thinking OD, Mojave, Pied. Definitely have some beautiful gold colors, man. I want to say Inchi too. Again, guys, I'm I'm still in I'm still a noob, man. Before I show you guys more snakes, man, I want to tell you guys about a couple of breeders you guys should really keep an eye out. I mean, these guys have been in the game a lot longer than I have, but I'm seeing the stuff that they're producing and the stuff that they're working with. And guys, let me tell you, it is freaking amazing. So one of the breeders right, you guys should definitely go look at, and man, if there's a list on it, make sure you get on it, it is a good friend of mine, Will Morrows from Royal Canadian Reptiles. I mean, this guy is producing some stuff that, the only problem is he hardly doesn't want to sell his stuff. Not just playing, but <laughs> kind of a little. But he has some amazing nest level puzzle combos, puzzle, I mean, double head puzzle clowns, double head puzzle desert ghost, visual puzzle desert ghost, which I'm going to post a picture of it right now. Bam, dude, congratulations on that one, Will. That thing is amazing. Make sure you guys go check them out, man, and go give them a follow. Again, Will Morrow's at Royal Canadian Reptiles. This guy is just killing it. Another person that I want to talk about, but I'm going to show off one of his snakes and tell you guys why I think you guys should go look at his stuff and definitely get on the waiting list for some of his stuff is because it's freaking amazing. So I haven't showed this girl a lot for a while, man. So right here we have a Trident Clown. So this was actually a snake that I won on the auction that they were doing for Chase over there at JKR. And when I saw this thing, I was just like head over heels in this. I had to get it. And plus the money went out to a great cause. But this is from David at Extra Morphs. I'm gonna put his information on the description down below. This guy is working with some stuff that not a lot of people are working with. I mean, the stuff that he has going, trust me, it's straight sleeper status. You guys need to go make sure you guys go check him out. Also his information is gonna be on the description down below. But yeah, he produces Trident Clown and this thing is just epic. So let me show you guys right now. Brought her over here just because the lighting's a lot better. But it's kind of hard trying to film her by myself. But look at her, man. Let's get that head. And this right here is just a single gene Trident Clown. Looks very like pinstripe-ish a little bit. But man, this thing is freaking beautiful, man. And she is a female. Definitely putting up some size. There we go. That's a better. Again, right here we have a Trident Clown. All right, here's some other things I'm excited to show you guys. These little things are a little beast, man. So we have three males, and we believe this to be a pastel, spot nose, bamboo, pinstripe, 100% hat clown. And this is a male, but man, have you guys seen anything this crazy before? You guys probably like, yeah, that ain't that bad. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is available. Which reminds me that we are going to be releasing a lot of snakes on Morph Mark. A lot of you guys are always asking me, where do you sell your snakes? Well, usually when I sell snakes, it's usually through my Instagram or just through my YouTube alone. People will email me or people just hit me up in my DMs. We're going to be releasing over 40 snakes on Morph Market this coming week. And I'm talking about we're going to put some heavy hitters up in there. And also some breeder females are going to be ready to go this season. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys uh, DM me or email me at alwaysvolumepythons at gmail.com and definitely check out what we have. So pictures are going to be on morph market prices and everything and most of these babies are going to be around 100 grams if not a little bit more which what we decided to do over here is when we had something we're not going to make it available till they're at least 100 grams just something different that we want to do and make sure we got these things already eating like monsters which i mean some snakes do come out small around 40 
50, 60 grams, but that's what we want to do is we just want to hold them back until they're 100 grams. So at least you guys know that they're pretty well off and, and then they'll be good to go. But yeah, we're going to put over 40 babies. We have still about 100 babies available, but yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on that. But again, this week, Morph Market. Morph Market information is going to be on the description down below. Yeah, here's some snakes that I haven't really showed you guys. I think I've showed them off like two times. But right here, what I'm going to show you guys is, is a Super Pastel Spot Nose Jungle Woma Head Clown. Look at this thing. But look at this, man. Spot nose, super pastel, spot nose, jungle woma, 100% head clown. Kind of looks like a little like a puzzle, doesn't it? So here is a clown version of the jungle woma. And we believe this to be, look at that crazy head stamp. So insane. And we believe this to be a jungle woma yellow belly clown. Man, it's gonna be so amazing. And I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm actually excited to see Pastel in this. Get a Pastel, Jungle Woman Spot Nose Clown. Whoo, man, that is gonna look amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. On the next vlog, I am gonna touch a little bit on the breeding business side and how 2019 went for me as far as breeding ball pythons and how much clutches I had. And you know, talk a little bit of numbers here and there. Cause I know a lot of you people are very interested in that. And I like sharing, you know, my experience with all of you guys because I still keep on seeing people talking about, you know, there's no money in snakes and it's a bad business to get into, but it's totally, totally BS guys. Let me tell you guys right now, man. Cause I have a lot of friends that are doing this full time. And I know a lot of people that are working with these snakes. And again, yes, yes, yes. People are gonna say it's all about the money, man. The more money you come into these beautiful, beautiful snakes, the better you could take care of them. The better you could upgrade them with these awesome freedom breeder racks. Why not work doing what you want to do for a living, right? But yeah, so I'm gonna definitely touch up on that. Cause again, I saw all the comments, I saw all the DMs, but until next time guys, I appreciate all the support. Deuce.